So we have three functions, f of x, g of x, and h of x, and they want us to find the value of h of 4. So h of x is given as 4 to the power of x. That means h of 4 is going to be 4 to the power of 4. 4 is the domain given for this function. So we substitute the value of x with 4, and then we find the value for that. So 4 to the power of 4 is basically going to equal 256. That is your answer for this. In the next part, it's saying find f of g of 1. So f of x is 3x plus 2 and g of x is x squared plus 1. So let's start with finding g of 1 first. That's going to be 1 squared plus 1, which is 1 plus 1, and that is 2. Now we substitute g of 1 in f of x. So f of g of 1 is basically going to be f of 2. That means 3 times 2 plus 2, which is 6 plus 2, and that is equal to 8. That is your answer. And it says find g of fx in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So now in the previous part, what we did was we put g in f, but now we're going to put f into the g function. So that's going to be g of fx is going to be replacing the x of g with 3x plus 2. So that's going to be 3x plus 2 whole square plus 1 now. As you can see, the entire domain of g is now the function f. So let's expand the bracket 3x plus 2 times 3x plus 2 plus 1. So that's going to be 3x times 3x plus 2 plus 2 times 3x plus 2. That's 9x squared plus 6x plus 6x plus 4 plus 1. 9x squared plus 12x plus 5. That is your answer in the quadratic form ax squared plus bx plus c. The next part it says find x when f of x equals to g of 7. So 3x plus 2 equals to 7 squared plus 1. We replace the x of g with 7 because that's the domain given. So 3x plus 2 equals to 49 plus 1. That's going to be 50. So 3x equals to 50 minus 2, which is 48. And x is going to be 48 divided by 3, which is going to be 16. That is your answer. First thing is to find the inverse of the function. So we started putting f of x equals to y. So y equals to 3x plus 2. And now we're going to make x the subject of the equation. So we move 2 to the other side. It becomes y minus 2 equals to 3x. And then y minus 2 divided by 3. So lastly, f inverse of x is going to be x minus 2 over 3. Replace y with x and x with f inverse x.